This is catnip that I've grown outside. It's starting to get cold, so I've decided to bring it in the house. This is the catnip that's been growing in the window. As you can see, the sunlight makes a huge impact on the overall growth factor of your plant. And i got a small one growing here. Sprouted a little late. And there's another one. Now, as for the lighting indoors, I've just recently moved this light. Now, this is just a regular bulb like that. Not real good. But over here, this is a lead bulb, which the color changes on it. So it gives the plants a variety of different colors. I've been experimenting trying to figure out which one provides the alt, you know, the optimum color quality. I'm assuming red and blue would be the best. But right now I have it on auto strobe. It slowly changes color. It'll go from blue to orange to red. And back to green. Actually, it has a series of different colors. You can even set it to different ones. And this bulb was $20. Uh, uses extremely tiny bits of electric. Because it's lead. But anyway, this is what you find. Um, I had to use sticks to prop these up. I put a fan in front of the window to kind of strengthen the root up. But because it wasn't getting sun, as you can see the stem, the stems have grown upwards towards the light. Compared to the one outside, look at the difference. Uh, one of these is also a peppermint plant, but as you can tell, the stem color is completely different. So I have no idea what is peppermint and what is catnip. I mean, you can smell it. You know, you crack a leaf to smell what is what, but they, kind of, they look so much similar, it's really hard to tell. Um, I suppose one way you could distinguish the type is by the leaf. As you can see, this one's kind of pointier even the baby leaves versus peppermint which isn't quite as pointy and it's got the leaves are more rounded than catnip they're more spiky so that is uh, catnip